Hello and welcome to the Thrive video learning series. Today we'll talk about Explorer reports in the Hub by Thrive. To get started, navigate to the Explorer page on the left hand menu. Here you will find a summary report breaking down each of your locations. Try to limit your range to a maximum of 365 days if at all possible. Select OK to continue and now you'll see each of your locations listed with some basic number counts and amount totals in the table. Each of these can be sorted by clicking at the top of the column. Clicking the top of the column once more will reverse the order. The summary table has had filters applied to it to remove automatically any appointments where the requests have expired or have been canceled, estimates that have been rejected or in draft status, and remove any invoices or payments that have been canceled. The table is also searchable. If I'm trying to find a specific location, I can simply click on the search box and search for it. Here I found Boise, and can very quickly bring up just that one location. You can also click on the drop down of the filters to see the different things you can search for, like location, numbers, or even amounts of the payments, clients, or anything specific you may be looking for. Each of the reports in the Data Explorer can also be exported by clicking on the three dots on the far right of your screen. Here you'll have the option to export the data into either a CSV file or an Excel file. To get a more detailed view, we can click at the top on Payments or any of the other tabs to begin getting a itemized detail of each of these transactions. Here on our payments, now we can see each individual payment transaction. Clicking on the filters on the top right will allow us to adjust the range to what the dates that we want to look for. And we can also adjust the status by clicking on the right side filter and either choosing one or multiple statuses of payments to be able to see those. We can also get a detailed breakdown of our invoices by clicking on the invoices tab at the top of the screen. Here we can find an itemized breakdown of each of the invoices that have either been issued or in draft status by each of our locations. In this table, you can view a variety of information such as which location issued the invoice, the customer status, and whether that location allowed for online payment. Once again, we can click at the top of the column to sort these. I'm gonna sort by location to begin to see each of those line by line. I also have the ability on the top right to sort and filter by clicking on the date or even the status of the invoice. Continuing, we can click on estimates at the top of our menu. This will take us over to a detailed itemized list of each of the estimates that have been approved from month to date. We can once again on the top right, adjust our filters to the time and also the status that we want to view. Once again, anywhere we see these three dots allows us to export the information either to a CSV file or an Excel file our next section is the bookings tab. The bookings tab allows us to see the itemized list of each of our appointments that have been scheduled for month to date. Once again, on the top right, we have the ability to drill down to the specific dates or time period we're looking for, as well as the different statuses. We can select all or just the specific ones we're looking for. Currently we're looking at scheduled, but if I want to additionally look at created or completed or other statuses, I can check those on as well. Continuing on at the top of the screen, the next section we have is our client section. This section truly gives us a master list of all of our locations where we can see all the individual clients that have been added to their Thrives. Currently we're looking at customers month to date, but once again I have the ability to change that and check on other statuses, like if I want to see inactive leads or others. I can also additionally drill down on the actual date and time. By clicking on the drop down, I can choose month to date, rolling month, year to date, or select my specific dates. Should you have any issues or ideas for improvement, navigate to the resource hub on the bottom left. Here you will find product updates and the ability to submit an issue or feedback. To submit a ticket, click on submit a ticket and fill in the following details. Fill in the subject for what the issue is, your name and email so we can contact you back promptly. Also, how serious is the issue and where the issue was found. Please include your business name and also leave a place for a description. If you have the ability to take a screen recording or include a screenshot, please do so here because that will help us see the issue more clearly. To submit feedback, click on submit feedback and include your name and email and then ultimately what is the feature that you're requesting? Where would it occur? And then also have you seen ideas for this somewhere else? Feel free to provide any screenshots or video recordings of that type of feature.